fresh off a win in this conference championship game to send Memphis to the Cotton Bowl, now introduced as Florida State's newest head coach, Mike Norvell. This, what's this last 24 hours been like preparing for a conference championship game, winning, and now being here at Florida State? Uh, it's been incredible. Uh, you know, the, the wide range of emotions, you know, the game, the way that it played out, uh, you'll see in seeing uh, those kids in, in the Memphis program you know, you respond through adversity and find a way to, to be successful. And then you know, just the unbelievable joy of, of coming to be a part of the Florida State uh, your football family. I mean, this is uh, it's just such a special day. And I'm excited about the future. It's been an incredible uh, beginning, and uh, we're looking, to, looking forward to bright days ahead. When did the Florida State football job come on your radar, and when did you know that this was a, a, a good fit for you? I mean, this is one of the iconic brands and programs in college football, and uh, you know, have an opportunity to represent this fan base, uh, do this football team, the the, the state of Florida. Uh, it's 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 special, and uh, you know, for me going through the process, I mean, it's uh, you know, I had a great situation where I was, but it was going to have to take something special, and that's what we have here. We have a special situation that is the absolute right fit for me and my family, and and a, a and a, uh, you know, an entire fan base and, and support group that, uh, uh, that's all, all in and supporting the, the, Seminole, uh, the Seminole family as well. I think you were on the ground for less than 30 minutes before you met with the team. That was priority number one for you. Why was it so important to, to meet the team, and what was your message to them? Because that's why I'm here, uh, you know, to be able to impact the student athletes that we have uh, in each and every uh, way. I mean, on the field, off the field. I wanted to, my, my first uh, my first message to be to them, so they understand where, where they what they mean to me. Uh, you know, we're gonna we're gonna do great things together, and it all started today with that with that first meeting. What's priority number one for you? Uh, I'm going to hit the ground running in recruiting. You know, we only have 10 days till signing day. You, uh, you know, obviously, it's going to be a lot of a lot of time building relationships. Uh, you know, being able to showcase uh, to, to the student athletes that, that we're recruiting. You know, what to, what is to come. And obviously, just celebrate all the great things that we already have here in place. Uh, you know, within this university and our program. For you, you said you know football's always been in your blood. When did you really get the coaching bug? When did you decide that that's what you wanted to do? You know, I've, I've played the game of football or coached it since I was five years old. So, it, you, know, you know, being a football player and a football coach, it, it's what I've always aspired to be. And, uh, you know, I've been fortunate to be around great coaches that impacted my life, uh, you know, from a young age. And, you know, I always wanted to, to be able to be that person that could impact others. And, and hopefully I have players that look at me the way that I look at my coaches. You said in the press conference about your offensive philosophy, it's about showcasing the player. It's your job to, you've got the playmakers, your job to showcase them. Expound on your offensive philosophy and who are some of your, your mentors in, in coaching? Well, you know, I think I think any uh, any quality coach is going to, to you know be able to adapt and adjust to the plate to the skill set of the players that we get to coach. You know, obviously, we're gonna we're gonna recruit a dynamic athlete and playmaking uh, you know players with playmaking ability, and then you know we're, each year it should look a little different. You know, everything needs to play to them, and so we can we can you know put them in the best position to be successful. And you know, I've been around some great coaches. You know, you know Gus Miles on uh, when it was uh, where I uh, where I kind of got my start as a graduate assistant under him at Tulsa. Uh, you know, Todd Graham who. Was was my head coach for for nine years. He was a defensive coordinator uh, and head coach that I really learned a lot about attacking defenses and trying to put them in in most challenging situations possible. And and those kind of evolved as as we went from there. What was yesterday like? Going back to the conference championship game and then culminating with that victory and finally reaching that mountaintop. You know, it was it meant everything. Uh, you know, to see it to see a football team you know, finish what we started and you know we we had been a very young team over the last couple of years. You know, we'd made the championship game for for the for the previous two, but uh, you were things that came up in those games that uh, where where we where we fell short and to see the growth, maturity, all the adversity that we faced throughout this season uh, to be able to to get the job done and the way that it had to happen. You know, to have a comeback to have to finish great in the fourth quarter and to overcome adversity throughout that game. It, it really showed the response in the heart of those kids. Your Seminoles will be preparing for a bowl game uh, upcoming. How much do you hope to have a chance to evaluate and kind of watch the team prepare and, and get a chance, your, your, your first look at the team on the field? Oh, I'm really excited about that. And, you know, they're, they're in great hands for this bowl game with, uh, with Coach Higgins, you know, an you know, unbelievable man, uh, leader. Yeah, I think that's the one thing that's, that's really jumped out the last, the last month of the season is just the passion in which these kids play, how much they care about each other. Uh, this, this Seminole family is, is, is uh, you know, deeply rooted. And now it's going to be my job to take it, where it from where it is is and continue to grow and, and go step by step trying to, uh, to accomplish the dreams and, and goals that we all have. And, uh, but I'm definitely looking forward to seeing them out there. 
we'll finish this, allow you a chance to, what do you want the Seminole fan base to, to know about you and know about what you're bringing to this program? Uh, you know, just that this is going to be an all-inclusive family and an all-inclusive approach. You know, not only do we want to win championships on the field, but we're going to work just as hard in, in what we're doing off the field with these kids. You know, I've got a saying of how you do anything is going to be how you do everything. And so we're going to try to set that expectation every single day to be the best version of ourselves. And we think that's going to be the, the, the building blocks to, to getting us to, to where we want to want to be at as a program. And that's, that's it. one of the nation's elite. Thank you, Coach, for taking a few minutes. We appreciate it. We're going to let him get on the road, but we'll have much more with a new coach of Florida State, Mike Norvell, as the weeks pro pro progress. For Coach, I'm Lane. Go Knowles.